Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDC Joe Cosmic Clips video. Today, guys, we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Armaldo here. Now, this is a pretty cool card. Um, it's pretty decent now, and much like the Steelix video I did yesterday. I feel like this card shines better in expanded. It feels like this card just works better in expanded when you have stuff like DCE and Battle Compressor. Um, but in standard, we can try to make it work. We do have the attack Ancient Blast, which is 20 plus 50 more damage for each unidentified fossil card in your discard pile, and that's pretty good. Um, at most you could do 220 damage if you have a Dionysi in play you're doing 240 So you're doing a lot of damage for only two energy. That's pretty good Now one of the main issues I do have with our Maldo is it doesn't work with karate belt um, We're gonna be playing counter gain instead. It's a little slow. So it's gonna be like that fossil Rampardos deck We're playing a little slow um, But this is kind of the list I've come up with here more of like a vanilla version of the deck um, before we get in the video, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Car Kevin TCG, guys, as always, if you're ever in any need of any PDCGO codes, as always, if you're ever looking for pack codes, if you're still trying to get yourself Cosmic Eclipse codes, get all the Cosmic Eclipse cards, build all the new Cosmic Eclipse decks, get your Cosmic Eclipse codes at Car Kevin TCG, and of course, they have all the other PDCGO code stuff there, like GX codes and Elite Trainer Box codes, Sleeve codes, all that good stuff, they're all over at Car Kevin TCG, and if you make, if you get anything from there, make sure you use code LDF at the checkout, get yourself a 5% discount on your order, support the channel, Help yourself out, and of course, help out Card Cavern TCG. So yeah, shout out to Card Cavern TCG, the sponsor. All right, now let's look at our list here. So again, this is a very basic build of the deck. Um, there are some cards I would like to play. One of the issues I found with building this deck was kind of, I guess, like room to add stuff. So your main attacker is gonna be our Maldo with Ancient Blast, doing 20 plus 50 more damage. I know it's fossil in your discard pile. Now one way we can play the game is you know use on it fossil elevation map to get our identified fossils in the discard or we can use unidentified fossil manually and attack with stuff and um as we uh, stuff gets knocked out it'll fuel up our maldo kind of like how vesquin works in that kind of similar sense um but for the most part we're gonna be trying to spam fossil elevation map try to get all these in the discard and then we can swing for 240 damage with ancient blast which is pretty insane we can definitely hit hard with the attack and our main setup is just obviously going to be stellar wish we're playing four jirachis Stellar Wish, you know, finds us our Research Lab. And we're going to use Research Lab to get our Anorus into play. We are playing a 4-4 Armodo line. We have some other fossils to help us out. Aerodactyl, uh, Wild Dive is really good to finish the game off. We also have uh, the ability Primal Winds, making it so that basic Pokemon need extra energy to attack, which is really good in a tag team meta. And even Boulder Crush. Aerodactyl can be built up very easily through Welder. And we are going to be using Welder, because one of the only good ways to build our Armodo up. We can play slow and kind of attach. The problem is, though, we have to go energy onto anorith after we did it so we are gonna kind of fall back in prize a little bit so that's why the welder just can speed things up and the counter gain now i am playing a one care costa line obviously it's really good against fire but we can also use the ability against malamar and completely shut off spell tag which makes that matchup a whole lot easier to win um though having drachis in play is obviously a death wish for blacephalon and deoxys but at the same time it just shut off spell tag gives us a lot of security considering we can always one shot giratina with ancient blast um of course, Dionysus is in the deck. Um, I did want to maybe try to run Baby Aerodactyl. Rampardos could be something to consider in here, but you don't get much value out of Rampardos anymore um, other than, like, you can use Wild Crash, but that's hard to build up. But, like, if you want to play Rampardos with the boost energy, you can. Um, just whatever. Uh, I just can't find room for it because uh, we're playing a Welder Engine, so you might as well use the Welder Engine Fossils. Uh, going to the items now. I'm playing a Crystal. Just if we ever need to get energy back, it's just good to have. It just... If you're playing Welder, you might as well play one Crystal. It's that simple. Uh, for a Fossil Switch map, I'm starting to consider taking one out and playing a Dojo. Um, just saying. Um, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But the four Fossil Switch maps, it's going to find us our Fossils to discard to power up Ancient Blast. Uh, plus, it gets one back from the discard. That can always be relevant. We got two copies of Great Catcher, of course. Uh, four Pokecoms. That's, our only search option is Pokecom to find our Maldo. One reset. I would consider two of these. Because, again, you will fall behind in prizes a little bit with this deck. So, definitely want to play two. Uh, we got one switch in the deck. A card I wish I could play more of, but, like, again, it's just space, man. We got to play a lot of stuff in here to make this deck work. Uh, we got four unidentified fossils. Again, this is how we're going to fuel up our Maldo. We got four fossil re or Pokemon Research Lab. Now, I can definitely see wanting to play room for a Dojo or two, because this allows you, with a fight energy on your Maldo, to do 280 damage if you're behind in prizes. With a down C and all fossils, you can knock out a... ADP so that is definitely something to consider but this deck I think just takes an L to ADP it's just kind of hard to beat I don't think this deck can ever beat ADP but you could try it out uh, we got two bills uh, one Caitlyn Cynthia for Cynthia just for consistency bill again helping us find that term on research lab is really important we got three welders in the deck as our way to build up our boys one counter gain again great card counter gain if you're behind in prizes which you always will be 
um, when you first start to attack, you can always do a turn one, or you can attack with Ancient Blast for one energy, sorry. Two escape boards, um, four fighting, and then six fire. Pretty simple list here. Again, there are some things you could run, like Dojo I think is really good in here, but I can't find room for it. I would like to maybe play more reset stamps because you fall behind in prizes. I maybe want to play Marshadow in the deck to get rid of Chaotic Swell, to use Research Lab. So it's a little tricky to build this deck. I think it just, there's too many things you have to play. It kind of clunks it. But I think in Expanded, we're going to revisit this deck because I think Armaldo in Expanded is actually kind of cool. So yeah, let's go show the deck up a piece of Joe and see if we can win a game or two with this Armaldo deck. All right, guys, let's try out the Armaldo deck here on PDCGO. And uh, we'll see if Armaldo can win us a game or two. We'll see how good this deck really is. And oh, we're up against... Looks like Firebox here. Now that's going to be kind of tricky. Not going to lie. Not a great matchup. Stuff like Aerodactyl though do come in handy I would say. Just because, you know, walling with Aerodactyl's ability definitely. I think it'd be good against Victini, Turnator even. And oh no. We start with Diancy. <laughs> that is the worst starter in this deck. I mean, well... It's the only other starter but it's a bad starter we do have the turn one research lab i mean our opening hand is actually good in my opinion and oh they're actually gonna be playing the raichu nuzzle deck okay so this nuzzle shot attack is actually a little annoying um but they're yeah they're playing the nuzzle deck it looks like or they're playing reshi rum no they gotta be playing the nuzzle deck right green's reshi rum Green's Nuzzle. Is that what I'm seeing here? Now I'm really confused. But definitely, I think Reshiram is one of our better matchups. Any, like, deck that's really not ADP, I think we can beat. Especially, like, stuff like Malamar could be decent, too, thanks to... Oh, they play Custom Catchers. Why do you play Custom Catchers? Take that out of your deck. You don't need it. Um, we do an Anorith. Okay, so... We could do this. We could play this. I mean... You can knock me out with Fable Flare Bolts. I think I'm still going to Welder to the Fossil. We can always evolve it in Anorith. We don't need to go insane aggro. There's a draw cheat. We don't need to go insanely aggro on the Fossils here. Um, you know what I mean? Like, once one Fossil goes down, it's going to fuel our Armaldo. It's kind of like playing Vespaquin, you know what I mean? The more yeah, that gets knocked out, the more powerful the attack gets. So we can afford to at least use one Fossil here. I think we're just going to go Research Lab. We're going to get that double our anorith into play we could go for aerodactyl but we might use this for the aerodactyl aerodactyl against this could be really powerful possibly so i'm still kind of confused as to whether or not they're playing a nuzzle deck or not they are going to get the double custom i don't know what they're going to bring in though i mean they can knock out the fossil it'll fuel me up though i mean they need a switch they need a lot to not they i don't even think they can kill me here they just can't attack me. They can do a cross break at some point, so we gotta watch out for that. I guess they could paralyze me. Then we can go into this and bug bite knock them out. No, they are playing a nuzzle deck. That <laughs> green does not seem like a good idea though, because of Amolga's ability. I don't really know why they would play green. Unless they only play like one or two Amolgas, but even then, like if you start with Amolga, your greens are shut off completely. So I don't really know if I agree quite with the greens. It doesn't really seem like a good card to put in the deck. If you're playing Amolgas. But they aren't going to patch Arisu this turn, which is good. Now, what they... I mean, I guess they can Nuzzle Shot. It's kind of annoying. We do want to knock out this thing. I guess they're not playing Ends Resolve then, because Reshiram is more for the late game. There's patch Arisu. So they could do 50 here. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're always going to be getting one shot, I think, so it's not the end of the world. Will they knock me out? I don't think they're taking a prize here. No. Nope. See, we draw. Fire. All right, so what we can do is we can actually knock him out with Bug Bite, which is kind of a meme, but hey, you know what? Never let your memes not be dreams. You know what? Bug Bite, knock out a Nuzzle, the Denny seems pretty good. Do find another Jirachi. If I had an escape board, I would switch into it. And we will Bug Bite, knock out this pest of a Dedenne. Hopefully it's the only one because they could knock out the Anorith again next turn. We do need to find our Maldo, so we do have Switch Welder maybe to find us that. If we can get our Maldo going, we can start to get more prizes, which I think is needed. The one thing that I am scared of, though, is potentially Crossbreak. That could be in their deck. 
It looks like they're going to settle with a Snuggly Generator. They do need to get a Pikachu down here. That's another reason why I don't really want to switch, because if they if they have to, like, stall me out with Nuzzle, we could try to switch. But they are just going to Snuggly Generator here, it looks like. So, how much Crossbreak, 4 energy, okay, so Aerodactyl would devour him. I don't think they're going to go for that play, though. Alright, we do find a Welder for 2 energy, that's pretty amazing. We can slap down an Anorith here. No Caracosta, though. Wow. I guess I should have played the Fossil map, but whatever. I guess we just knock him out with Bug Bite, you know what? He's not going to knock me out next turn with anything else but Reshiram. Any if he does, that's going to be one more added thing in the discard pile still no and not having not having our moldo is not great but we swing this thing once we can set it up for a great catcher ko which is always good no well, they're not gonna knock me out they don't have a fire energy okay cool there's our moldo yeah i guess we'll we could actually maybe try to hit him for 100 here we're not doing much damage with ancient blast uh, well, Caitlyn, Cynthia. Oh, you know, I should have played that. Oh, dang it, I screwed up. I misplayed pretty badly there. We'll get rid of the tier 2, but we're not going to need that. Yeah, I, I screwed up there. Why did I not play the excavation map? That was... Wow, I'm bad at this game. Uh, we are going to get energy, though, so we will definitely mock Klom for 120. I guess this works, too. We can knock him out next turn. Very likely, anyways. We could potentially get a KO on this guy. If, like, the idea is maybe if he switches to Dene, Nuzzle Shots the Anorith, we could try to double down on our uh, Excavation maps, but they're actually going to play a Great Potion. Yeah, I kind of feel like an idiot for not discarding the thing. I guess misplays will happen. And they are finally going to get a knockout here. We have 200 HP, so it's still likely to KO him here. We just need to get lucky. I think we can get lucky. If we knock this thing out, we literally win the game. I don't really see how my opponent's going to win if, if not. So we need to get most of our excavations, right? Because we're only going to be doing 190, I think, with the Dedenne and the 3. So we need to find two more of our fossil boys. Now we just need to not whiff our Maldo. And that will indeed be the knockout. Which is pretty exciting. All three are in the deck. How many Poke comes? We got three Pokies. So, I would say we have pretty high odds. We can even try to switch in Stellar Wish here. So, yeah. All we need to do is just hit the right cards here. Uh, do we want to play the Fighting? Yeah, we can play it. Don't need that. I don't even know if I want to play it. It might... Again, we can always get back that Fossil at some point. I think we'll Cynthia... We need to find our Maldo here to knock him out. We do find it at the last second. Alright, that is really good. We did get an escape board, so I also could have switched into that. But we did rip the knockout here. So yeah, we're going to be KOing him for 220... 240, something like that? We're doing a lot of damage. But it's going to be a knockout, and that's all that matters. Yeah, it's 220. 240, yeah, yeah, so I was wrong. We'll take our prizes. There's a Pokecom. There's another... Oh, reset stamp. That could be good. So we could get stamped, but we have two Drachis in play. It's not the end of the world. We do only have two attackers, but I don't really see how my opponent cannot lose at this point because all their Pokemon in play are weak to fighting. There's a lot. <laughs> oh, my opponent just wasn't able to get there. So they're playing a Reshiram Nuzzle deck. I think the idea would be like use Pachirisu, get a bunch of energy in play with Snuggly Generator, and in the meantime, get a Reshiram built up and then come in with your attack i guess I'm playing the nuzzle deck with welder wow that was their list is a little wacky i'm not gonna lie that is a very wacky list and that will be game unless they hit heads on nuzzle here but they're just gonna nuzzle shot yeah that's gonna be game all right armaldo taking a dub i mean uh, not really the most amazing of decks to play against obviously but things definitely could have went bad there we do 480 damage with ancient blast it's pretty cool that's what Armaldo's all about, folks. That's what it's all about. I definitely could have seen some value out of Aerodactyl there. They don't even play the new Raichu. Okay, that is not... Yeah, that's a, that's a weird list. Holy cow, that's a weird list. I guess, like, the idea, again, is use Patrice, get a bunch of energy in play, so that you can use them for Fable Flare Bolts. I don't know if I really agree with everything I was put in their deck, though. That's for sure. But you never... I, I, I can't knock any... I can't knock decks. 
Maybe their main focus was Nuzzle, and they weren't trying to use Raichu. But the fact that they didn't play Raichu in there is not, not great. We do have some chests to open up here, which we can definitely open up. So they had the Ends Resolve in the deck, too, looking at it. So that definitely could have been bad. They could have Ends Resolved me. Cross Prey could have been definitely devastating. We have no way to get Pokemon back in the deck. That's one thing you could try to run is a couple Lana's Rod, maybe play Brock's Grit. Got a laddie ass Prism Star, a card that is not great, but like kind of undervalued, I think. And a Deoxys. Two cards from the Celestial Storm. All right, we'll see you guys in another video. Or another another match, another video. Sorry, guys. I'm like, like, weirded, like, really, like, brain dead right now. All right, guys. Getting into another match here with our Maldo. See what we can run up against. All right. Another. Well, no, it's going to be a fire deck. Uh, most likely going to be Abilities Art, maybe. Which is a little scary. We go first, though, which is definitely good. Definitely good. We are mulliganing or revealing, and we are indeed playing a fossil deck. But uh, we'll see how this goes. Abilities Art is not great because they can easily just bring you up. But oh, they're actually just conceding the game, and they give me 25 free coins. But I think it's enough for a pack. It is. We're actually even getting close to getting a pack. So we can maybe wait. We can try to win one more game. We can get two packs from the shop. Or we can open up two packs, at the very least, which is kind of cool. Alright, let's see what we're up against here. Another fire deck. This actually could be Mewtwo, which might be a little bit easier than regular Ninetales firebox, in all honesty. And we go first, so that's good. As long as we don't mulligan again and reveal what we're playing, but that's very likely. But it's not today. Hmm. Jenny, from this hand, I might have to just welder to the unidentified fossil, which is fine. We could always evolve into a Caracosta at some point and maybe use that as an out to taking out a Reshizard if indeed they are not playing Mewtwo here might be an option for us I think we do have the Welder here though unfortunately oh they're playing Bocephalon okay that actually makes me pretty confident we can use that okay so we'll do this we'll play the Welder get this guy powered up okay we got a lot of Armaldos I like to see it yeah, now we just need a uh, little good old, uh, actually we could use that for their dactyl, that might even be better to be honest with you. We'll discard one of these. We just gotta hope for that research lab here, which we do find. No supporter, but I will take it. This is a pretty good hand. Jirachi's not gonna get knocked out in anytime soon. Well, he could always, he could weld her actually, that would be really annoying. Uh, but we are gonna get Tirtuga and Anorith in play because we can evolve Aerodactyl here. Now if we do get knocked out, by a welder we are actually going to be in some trouble because we don't have any way to really respond to that so i'm not actually a fan of this but if they don't welder knock me out i think we're chilling we get a stellar wish in and that might find me a cynthia or a caitlin cynthia just something to give me more cards and then we can go from there and i think we can use aerodactyl pretty easily i mean they're only out to stopping you know getting through aerodactyl's primal winds is welder So we'll have to see. See if they have that Welder double energy. They do have seven cards in their hand. Well, they're going to bump my stadium. Which does kind of suck. Because if he does get the Welder here, we're not going to have that anymore. Kind of, Maybe we could play like a Baby Buzzle in here. But I don't know. Can't find room for it. But plus, again, you don't want to use Buzzle because you start with it. You can't move it into a draw. I actually think we should play two Switches. Thinking about it. There's a lot of stuff you can make changes with the deck. But you know what? The deck's not playing too bad. I right, do not have a welder in your hand. You have five cards. You don't play a welder. Okay, good. A Tain Liza. That's an interesting card to see in a Bolcephalon deck. They're most likely just going to burst here. And if they do, we're going to go in with Aerodactyl. And we're going to well, hopefully attack here with Aerodactyl. Which is kind of the goal. We can also get Karakasa in play. Not that it really matters. They don't really play tools. But having them in play is good because it also can knock out Bolcephalon. Because we will be doing 120 damage with Aqua Impact. Two Blounds. Alright, what are we drawing here? An energy. That's good, but that's not the energy I need, unfortunately. Let's just check the deck. Nothing's really prized. We have three energies in the deck. Three Fightings, anyways. We'll see where that goes. All right, come on, Stellar Wish. Okay, we can get another Jirachi for now, which I'm fine with. We could also have taken that counter game, which I guess wouldn't have been terrible, but <laughs> I think for now we just double down on Jirachis. 
Not really having the counter stadium isn't great. I would have preferred to get an Anorithan to play there, but we can always hit it off a Stellar Wish. I do actually do want to get rid of that stadium, though, too. See what this gives me. Hey, there we go. Oh, but we want the Cynthia. Yeah, we take the Cynthia. We can play the supporter, and we can always draw into that stadium. Let's play that there. We'll Cynthia. We do get the stadium. We have a stamp, which is good. We can stamp them to four in the future. Cool. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. We're definitely in a okay position. We'll see what they do. We got rid of their Ultra Space, which is big. Depending on how good their hand is, they might not have any Nagas here. Or Poiples. Because they take Lizard for five cards. Five cards is not a lot of cards. Considering there's also a Nagand LGX in their discard pile, they may not even have a Naga. It might be prized where they only play one. Which is good. Oh, we're going to get another Poipel. If we have another turn here, we can start attacking and applying pressure, which I think is good. We do need to move the Jachi, but I'm expecting them to mind blow knock me out. If not, whatever. We got more time to set up, which is fine by me. I actually wouldn't even mind having some time to build up Caracosta. We can always use Waldo with Caracosta, though, so that's definitely good. And, I mean, again, they don't play any tools, obviously. I doubt it. They did get a Cynthia. And that's kind of annoying. I was hoping they'd break off Tain Liza there. But if they knock me out, we'll stamp them to four. Seems good. Or we can wait to stamp them. They knock out Aerodactyl, we stamp them to two. I don't... Mm. Actually, I don't even know if we want to go Aerodactyl. I mean, they have to get rid of an energy here. They get, uh, they get rid of an energy on the bench and get it all. Hmm. Best case scenario, we draw a Fire Energy. We can Stellar Wish into a Welder. And we can Welder knock him out with the Aqua Impact. I think that might be our best case scenario here. To be honest, I think that's what we would have to try to get here. And they only have three cards in their hand, too. Oh, my gosh. And they play Labs to get out rid of Jirachi. Wow, that is pretty annoying. Still, they have three cards in their hand. They'll have four. I think we go Aerodactyl here and hope for the best. In all honesty. And we'll save the stamp, I think, too, if they do knock out Aerodactyl. Let's see what we draw. Another Jirachi. I mean, I'll take it. I actually don't think I want to bench it, though, just for an fossil bait. Nah, we'll bench it. Why not? I don't know. Because that stadium's in play, it might not be worth it. Now nah, we'll bench it. I don't really see why not. Okay, well, we gotta hope he doesn't have an attack here. He won't be able to attack me, which is... I actually don't know why he didn't just get rid of the energy on the Naga on the bench, actually. Unless he has, like, Welder 2 energies here. If he knocks me out, the game ain't over. We can always stamp him and then hope, ain't, hope he doesn't get anything good off the stamp. For the time being, though, we are not in a good spot, I would say. If he does have a good hand here. He could Bursting Burn me. Then we would knock him out with Ancient Blast, right? 60. Yep, we do 70 damage with Ancient Blast. All right, nice. We get to live. All right, cool. This is actually pretty good now. We're definitely in a lot better of a spot we were just in. Let's see, we draw. Bill, that is a great card to get. We'll take Welder and Cynthia. The Welder is definitely going to be good here to build up my Caracosta. And we'll knock him out. We force him to B string here. If he doesn't have B string, not looking too good for them. We get two prizes. Energy. Okay, that's really good. We can build up a Caracosta, possibly, if we can find, like... We need a, We really need to get a stadium to get rid of that Lysander Labs. So they could stamp me, though, too. You never know. But for the time being, we can try to build up Caracosta. Caracosta is definitely going to be a big knockout of Cephalon. I might even have to, like, Wild Dive a Naga, to be honest. If he goes... If he attacks me, we might have to just Wild Dive it. We're chilling, though. This is good. As long as he doesn't have too many B-Strings, we should be good. Again, he has four cards in his hand. What are the odds he has a B-string or an out to find it? He doesn't even have a Nega GX in play. So I'm feeling confident about our spot right now, that's for sure. It's really good that Aerodactyl didn't get knocked out there. And yeah, he actually concedes the match. Not bad at all for the Armaldo deck taking another dub against Blacephalon there. And we get to buy, or at least open, two packs of Cosmic Eclipse. Which I might as well go ahead and do. 
seems good to me. We'll open up some packs here. Yeah, Ronaldo's doing its thing. The deck ain't bad, that's for sure. Again, if your opponent doesn't like get an insane pop off start, I think you're okay to chill. But if it does, <laughs> yeah, you're not really chilling. So we'll see what we pull here. Looking for a ooh, reversal tangrowth. Fion. I have a full place at a lock Fion's now. That's amazing. Alright, we'll see what we get here. Hopefully a full art tag team supporter. Those are the money cards. Other than like the GX's. No, we get a Whimsicott with Lost March. Okay, well, see so you guys. Probably one last game with the Armaldo deck here. Alright guys, let's get another game with Armaldo here. I definitely say the deck is playing decently well for us, which is pretty good. Uh, we'll see if we can get one last game of the deck. Maybe win a game or just show off something cool. I don't know. We'll see what we run into here on PDCGO. We have a win streak of four. Be a little mad if I lost it, but whatever. Okay, so we're up against P Dizzle. Playing a deck with a lot of types. This could actually be a dark box deck. Just because of the fire. Which, I mean, hey, that's like an auto win, I would say. We'll see what we get here. Okay, double Jirachi. Pretty busted hand. We have a bill. Hopefully, we are able to get that research lab turn one. I could definitely see Stadium Nav going in here, but I feel like you should be able to find Research Lab. You got four of them. It's not that hard. And if you were to play Stadium Nav, I'd rather play something else. Oh, they're playing a Terrakian deck. Okay. Uh, we'll Stellar Wish. There's that Research Lab. Beautiful. We have a, a Welder here, too, which is pretty good. We'll play that down. Definitely go Bill. Get Welder and get this. Right? Or we can get another research lab, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Just in case. We're probably going to need a few turns here to kind of get a research lab. And we'll do this. Get Anorith. And I'm actually going to get a tier 2 good. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because we get Concoction in play. If he's playing Jirachi or anything, we're shutting off his tools. I'm going to do that. I am going to get a Karakost in play. He's going to Welder Terrakian. He could knock me out with Cavern Counter here. We'll see if he does get there. Now, Spirit Tombs are definitely a little tricky. This is where Ad Aerodactyl, I think, is going to be a really good attacker. And he actually gets a knockout turn one. Wow. Well, I think we're going to have to settle here for a... Uh... We're gonna have to settle for a little Jirachi action again. That's pretty annoying that he actually got the turn one knockout. I think we have to kind of go for Stellar Wish again. We'll take the Unidentified Fossil. Maybe I should against Cynthia. I don't know. I need to start getting some Aerodactyl things going. Because we can Aerodactyl GX him, and I think I am gonna try to go for that soon. Uh, we'll Welder here. Uh, we'll get two energy onto the tier two guy. Definitely try to get care cost to build up. I think that is the correct idea. Okay, we'll do this. We'll get that out of the deck. We'll discard it. That's for sure. And we did get a Cynthia, which I like to see. So we're gonna try to turn this into an Aerodactyl next turn. That's gonna be the plan. I think we'll go here. Maybe get just get care cost into play. What am I getting another Jirachi in play? I also do need to get Aerodactyl. But I guess I can also just research that for Aerodactyl. But I don't want to get Guzma. That's kind of the issue here. I could see my opponent playing a Guzma and knocking out Aerodactyl. That would be really bad. Or a great... No, Great Catcher. Yeah, Great Catcher Energy. Sorry, not Guzma. Sorry, guys. For some reason, my brain just ain't operating today. But, uh... But yeah, you know, we'll just get the Aerodactyl in play. Ooh, a Giant Heart. That actually helps us out a lot. That's a really good card to see. So yeah, we could see a Great Catcher knock me out. This is why I didn't want to bench it. Great Catcher Diancy would get him there. That's why I wanted to bait him there, but I feel like we just Poke Common and we're fine. But I think Aircraft is definitely good. I don't know what he's exactly playing in his deck in terms of tools. But I still think we get some value out of Kirkos. It actually can one-shot Trakian too. That's another reason why I wanted to get it. Oh no, he might get a knockout here. This is why I didn't want to get the Aerodactyl into play. That's why I wanted to bait the fossil. He needs a Diancy for a knockout. And he needs to get a damage counter on the Diancy to knock me out. He can't play Shrine either, which is good. So, I mean, he has to go... He'd have to, like, Jinx Diancy. No, actually, yeah, it's, like, impossible to knock me out. There's no way to get a damage counter on Diancy, I don't think. 
because he can't attack me and rainbow energy at the same time onto a Dionysi because of three energies and a primal wind. So yeah, I, Aerodactyl should be safe here. It's not getting knocked out. Trying to hustle belt's kind of unique too. Not like super needed, but I think it's still good. I do want my Aerodactyl to live though. Oh, he didn't realize yet. He forgot about Aerodactyl's ability. That is really good. Um... Nah, we're just gonna Cynthia. We're honestly just gonna wild dive to be honest with you. He can't play Hustle Bell. Aerodactyl can't get one shot. Okay, never mind. That play ain't happening. We're gonna have to retreat back into Jirachi. That's a little unfortunate. Not getting the fire G there kind of sucks. Okay. We didn't already retreat, we could have went here, but we can bet another Jirachi and chill for now. I guess we can Welder, get rid of the Fossil Station map. Yeah, we should do that. Or Giant Hearth that, sorry. Let's get two fires in our hand, build up an Anorith. Hmm. We could, in theory, use Counter Gain for the Aerodactyl, but I think we'll do this. I have a better idea. We can Welder the Aerodactyl, we can always knock him out with Boulder Crash. So that kind of sucks if we didn't find the energy there. I would have went for a wild dive knockout Trachean. I don't want him to build another Trachean up. That is something I don't want to see. But we have the Karakosta to deal with it. And Spirit Tomb isn't too harmful because it can't use Hustle Bell. It can still one-shot me though. But like it's really good. Aerodactyl Lake is really good against Spirit Tomb. There's a Cynthia. We'll see if they get a Great Catcher here. And an energy. And a way to knock out Aerodactyl though I doubt it. I was meaning to make a video on this Terrakian deck, by the way. I just I never got around to doing it. And it, I wanted to because it has the word Cavern in his name. And you know, I'm sponsored by Car Cavern TCG. Makes you use code LDF, right? Ooh, Viridian. That would have been a nice card, actually, for him to play down so I could get Fight Energy for free. Energy Spinner actually will be another good card to put in this deck. See, there's so many things you could put in here. Marshadow, more resets, Dojo, Switches. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many good options to put in here. It's just kind of hard. A Oracoro coming down, that's a really good card to see come down because now Cavern Counter can't actually um, work. You need it on all of your bench Pokemon. Keyword, all. So he actually can't attack me here. And for some reason, he's going to attach another energy to... The oh, no, yeah, because he has to, right? He can't, can't Cavern Counter me anymore. Okay, cool. Hmm, Pokecon, that's a good card. All right, so we're going to Welder to the Aerodactyl because we can always attach an energy... To the Anorith with the counter gain. Okay. We didn't find a Pokemon. Jeez, are we just not going to be attacking here? We're just not attacking today, apparently. <laughs> Can't find any Pokemon or energy right now. I don't really know what to tell you. I mean... I think we would do this. Giant Hearth. Play the research, get another Anorith in play. But what would I Giant Hearth away? Yeah, I don't really think I want to get rid of anything. I mean, he could he I guess we should just go in Aerodactyl. Make him attach an extra energy. I don't want to take damage, but at the same time I don't want to lose another Jirachi. This is just bad. We can't find our energy, man. Like, where are they hiding, bro? Where's the energy at? It's nowhere to be found. Okay, so welder into the other track, Ian. He needs to attach an energy here if he wants to boulder crush. If not, he can only hit me for 50. Which is good. Or Corio though, is definitely something to finish off down the road with Great Catcher. So I guess your game plan would be try to go through these. We're falling a little behind in prizes. This is also why I did not want to give up a prize, because we are very behind in prizes right now. Like, if we lose another prize, we're just going to fall back too much in prizes. So I think we really needed to just let Aerodactyl just sponge a hit. It can always get Great Catcher, though, but it forced him to play the extra energy. And we can stamp him at some point, too. So I'm going to hold that reset stamp for a rainy day. We're not going to play it until maybe he goes down to two prizes. Or three. Three or two. Or stamp him and knock out the Oracle in the same turn. Also pretty good. See, he's only going to hit me for 50. This is fine. We can get knocked out by Spirit Tomb now, which is a little frustrating, not going to lie. 
but we kind of had to do that. And we're going to have to switch here. And I think just going to Caracosta. Because then all we need is a fine energy. And it's better than just needing to find our Maldo. And an energy, which I feel less confident finding. There we go. Yeah, see, I didn't hit the Armaldo or a Pokemon to get Armaldo. So I'm glad I went with Caracosta. Aqua Impact is over killing him. Well, not really. You get my point. Finally, we're going to take a prize. There we go. I got a Armaldo bait. And I think I'm actually going to go Aerodactyl here. I think I will go Aerodactyl. Because... Actually, I don't know. Ooh, he does play Jinx, and he does hit it. That's not great either. Ah, I wish we had Mew in the deck. <laughs> just finish off these Spirit Tombs. Man, we just... Falling behind in prizes is just not ideal. Like, this is just not a good spot to be in. I don't know, man. This is, I honestly don't even think we can win the game at this point. I get, like, this is a good thing to have in play, but... I don't really see how we're winning. He's down a lot of energy, which is a good sign, but yeah, I just... I don't really see how we're winning this game, guys. He has a knockout on the Aerodactyl. This does force him to have to attach another energy, but he takes two prizes. Now, this does mean we can stamp him to two, but we also have to knock this out on the same turn. Let me get rid of Spirit Tomb. So, let's see. What are we chilling here? Three fossils is enough to knock out the Oracorio. Man, this is just painful. This is painful. So, we got a Great Catcher and stamp him here to maybe pull off some comeback that's like quite literally our best play oh man this was just a pretty bad game we just weren't finding anything we needed there's great catcher and stamp they're both in the deck we need to hit both here so we're gonna cynthia before we do stellar wish it doesn't really matter no we didn't get either piece that sucks there's a great catcher I guess we can stamp him to one, knock this out, sure. Knock him out now. Yeah, I think we just knock that out now. <laughs> Man, this is pretty pitiful. This is going to be hard to win, guys. We'll see, though. We'll see if we can win. I just, I don't know. We'll go down to one prize. We'll stamp him to one. Pray that Caracosta wins us the game. That's like our last best effort. If they get an energy on any Spirit Tomb here, we're doomed. Or even Trakian. And that's game. Nothing we can really do, man. We just kind of got unlucky. I guess like our other best option would be try to fossil into an Aerodactyl again. But yeah, even that's not going to work. If we hit the welder and the stamp, if we really did hit the uh, great catcher and the stamp there, I really think we would have been able to win this game, but fortunately, man, it's not going to work. Or if we played a Mew in the deck, Mew would have won us the game. just don't really see how we're winning this at this point. It's like impossible. It's, yeah, it's impossible to win. Just got a little unlucky this match, guys. We weren't finding our energy at the right time. We had to go, we had to fall behind too much in prizes. And unfortunately, it's just not going to be enough to win the game. And we, one card off. <laughs> Every time, man. Every time. But yeah, that's going to be game. Unfortunately, Armaldo is not going to be able to beat the Spirit Tomb Terrakian deck. Just not going to happen today. nothing we can do if they didn't get an energy on the track yet we maybe could have won the game but at this point we're doomed i don't even know what i'm doing at this point i'm just kind of playing what i can just you know why not <laughs> why not oh that kind of sucks yeah that kind of sucks we weren't able to win this game guys unfortunately i think this matchup's pretty good thanks to aerodactyl but man just again we were just getting freaking unlucky which just stinks we're just getting way too unlucky there but whatever. 
It is what it is. This Armolo deck, I think, is still pretty good. We took out two, you know, pretty decent decks, I would say. So, not bad. Anyways, that's all the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below. How on the road to reaching 7,000 subscribers. Slash 6,200 subs. I think at this point we're getting close to 6,100 subs. We're like 10 subs off. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to check out the sponsor card having TCG as always, guys. Use code LDF. Follow me on Twitter down below too. And that'll be it for today's video on Ramaldo. See you guys later. Bye-bye.